Survive Knife is a legend of the knife world. When we started our journey, Super Steels were almost not used by anyone but Felk, Neven, Bark River and yeah, Survive Knives. But we never could buy one because it was always sold out. But now we finally have it and let's say we've grown skeptical about this knife. But man, we built ours in Magna Cut, which may be our new favorite steel. Having said that, the last knife we had in Magna Cut, we broke. Now this broke exactly, and that is exactly, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit angry here, why I didn't want jimpings in mine. Don't worry. We'll go all out on this one. But first, our one minute sponsor. This video is sponsored by WorkSharp. This is the WorkSharp Guided Field Sharpener. It has a rough, fine ceramic and leather side. We'll cut to the chase. It works great and we wish we had this when we started sharpening. This is how we use it. Rough side. Fine side. Yeah, that is crazy. The strop actually already has compound on it. Workshop made an excellent video on showing you how you are supposed to use it with the guided angles. It really ensures everybody can make a sharp edge with this thing. You can sharpen everything. Head to workshop.com and order one. And get a 20% discount with Mickey is balding 20. Great tool. And we are proud to make this sponsor because this is very handy. Survive knives, finally we have our hands on a few of them. Very popular brand, uh, very high finishing quality. It's all, most of the things are still done by hand. Ooh! Oh. <laughs> that is one of the sharpest knives that I have, to, I have seen. Okay, okay. Well, that's, that's really sharp. sharp. No, but River was more like the fancy stuff. This was more oriented to destruction. We're gonna chop down a tree. Because a fire. we gotta make some Angus burgers because Ooh. I'm very hungry. Whoa, this knife really has a lot of swing. Because I thought the handle was a little bit, a bit long, but it really works. For chopping. Artie, I want you to bring that tree down with a karate kick, with the with the most fancy kick you got. What? What? <laughs> well, yeah, very impressive, Martin. The problem was he kicked it right in my direction, so this is me actually running for my life. It was very intense, as you can see, Martin being very worried for the life of his best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, that almost fell on my damn head! <laughs> I've never seen something so close to your head. <laughs> just kissed him. I should have seen Luke on your face. Jesus, <laughs> well, I almost died! <laughs> YouTube, I did not almost die. This is called a slight bit of exaggeration for comedic effect. Don't demonetize. No, no, no. Really comfortable in the hand. I think it's a good chopper, but it's a little bit slippy. So your hand tends to Go to the back, but okay, you can put a lanyard on there. Yeah, so let's, let's call it Slipping Jimmy. Ah, the last one was a miss. I did a better job aiming, yeah, with Apocalypse. Yeah. But I do have feel, I feel like the Apocalypse is a little bit better in chopping on this one. So nothing changed. So Ma nothing. Martin, that is absolutely nothing. That is really good. Okay, now just. To piss off Dave Canterbury a bit, I'm gonna baton the, the, the start with batoning the piece that the Dave Canterbury knife had a lot of trouble with. Yeah. Last week. <laughs> that yeah. is absolutely mental. How much easier that yeah. is. Well, that kind of shows, you know, where this is a survival knife. Before I'm gonna do the, the fire rig, I just wanna do a, a little bit more extreme piece. 
the piece that you stopped with. Whoa, okay. This is the, the angle of where the knife is in the wood. And look yeah. how the knife bends here. I want to get this knife out before it actually breaks. What? What? Nay. No. Okay, look. Right through the knot. Nay. I like it. I like it. I... <laughs> Martin, that's insane. That is insane. No, that is insane. I thought that this... That this was not possible with a knife because I thought, yeah, you know what? Maybe this piece is just too thick for a knife. Maybe it's just yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But th th the amount of ease that this knife do knife does it with. Yeah, it kind of makes the other one look like a joke. Which I mean, the other knife was good for bushcraft. Tell you what, the only reason that we're making fire today is because I am so hungry. Lit my, I have literally not eaten anything. And people are saying, oh, literally, this guy says literally, but I mean it. <laughs> it will be the first time that we actually are gonna eat some homegrown stuff. Yeah. yeah. The, almost everything of this burger, except all that is standing here, don't look, don't look, uh. is homegrown. Can I get, oh. oh. Okay, you didn't okay, need the knife. Uh, <laughs> you didn't need the knife for that. Oh, look! Would you look at these lovely zucchinis? Uh, it's rotten. Oh, that's so weird. That is gross. And last but not least, the paprika. I want to try a try normal piece because this thing is an amazing feather sticker, I believe. Okay, so this, you know, it's a little bit big, so it's a little bit harder to control. Yeah, I'm going to give this like a seven and a half. And that's pretty impressive for a big knife. Yeah. Yeah, now, now you've got text. Oh, hi guys. Let's cook. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! This knife was absolutely nailing every test thrown at it. So finally we could start cooking that Angus burger we bought at our favorite butcher. And I'll tell you, I was very, very hungry because I hadn't eaten all day just to get a good reaction on video. And then Marta almost ruined everything. Yeah, it was uh, a little bit too hot, I would say. Uh, oh no! So the oil catch fire, got fire. Oh I just, no. I did manage to save the bread. But okay. look, they have a nice crispy texture. Oh, <laughs> if it's good at batoning, often it's not that good at food prepping. But actually, Mickey, Ooh. it does a way better job than I expected. That's yeah. really good, pretty impressive. Whoa, that looks really sharp. Yeah. Ow. Finally, this here guy is gonna heat up some tasty Angus burgers. Yeah, I do it, son. <laughs> Paprika. Who cuts pickles like that? My burger. Oh, a little bit of Alabama shook my head in. Not too much ketchup. Oh yeah. One slice of zucchini. Later. Pickle. 
Okay, your burger. Okay. Mm. That Angus burger really is the best burger you can mm. get. Whoa! Mm. But this is good. Yeah, but I have to say, we made one with bacon before and cheese, and that was a little bit better. Oh, yeah, it was better. But it was really good. Oh, we eat it. This is lekker. Conclusion? No, destruction. Let me try. Oh, That's absolutely crazy. Oh, it, it is slightly duller, but it's still got phone book paper. That is like the thinnest paper you can get. DBK shop. DBK shop .com. <laughs> It is insane. Yeah, but not even a little, a little yeah, lick, yeah, yeah. and it's not even racing. <laughs> And to wrap up this video, we did the ultimate knife test. The bone chopping, which badly damages 90% of all knives, especially when they are as hard and as thin as this knife. I think... That's the stinks. No! <laughs> oh, Mickey, I don't think maybe there hasn't been any knife that could cut paper like this after the bone. Is it? Hey, Mer or maybe the DBK knife. <laughs> no, I cannot say that. I cannot say that. Conclusion. Yeah. Holy shit. It Holy is, it shit. It's unbelievable. Now, f even before we go to the giveaway, we can say. And yeah. This is unbelievable. Yeah. So we are giving away the Survive Knife GSO 5.1 in CPM 3V. We are giving away the Blackjack Model 125 thanks to Blade HQ. We are giving away the Boker Mini Tracker thanks to Boker. We are giving away the Falcon Even N05 thanks to DBK. And thanks to Tools for Gents, we are giving away this knife. And thanks to VV, the Brazil. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a little bit lost for words because I was... Okay. I don't know if people know, but we broke a Bark River knife made out of Magna Cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it was, was a little thinner. Thinner and stuff, but that's really got me doubting Magna Cut actually. And then we looked it yeah. up. This is heat treated by Peter's heat treat, you said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same as Bark River. And I just yeah. looked it up. And, you know, aside from reading a few mean comments towards uh, the DPK boys who yeah. are children, <laughs> but, but. And they actually use Peter's heat treatment. So, yeah. But this is heat treated. As yeah. an absolute beast! And let me tell you, the finish is perfect. Uh, the heat treatment is perfect. It has a good spine. It has a good balance. The handle was really comfortable in my hand. And Mickey, the sheath, Kydex sheath. Really well fitted as well. So, yeah, maybe it is not like 100% my style of knife. Yeah. But I am in love with this knife. I am. I could give some negative points, like a V edge, but the V edge. It's done so nicely and sharpened so well and in, the, in such a great angle that I can't even, I yeah. cannot even yeah. give it a, no. a negative rating. What That's would you find a reasonable price for a knife like this? In Magna Cut. That is an expensive steel. I would say some, with this steel, yeah. uh, I would say somewhere between the three and four hundred dollars. It's two ninety nine, so it's it's just barely touching the three hundred dollars. Yeah, I, I mean, think it's a really good price. Ladies and gentlemen, let us know your thoughts. I uh, hope you like this video. Hope you like the burgers. Jesus! I ik ben echt een beetje overgeladen. Oh, uh, for the algorithm, it is working. Please like and subscribe and tell us what well Martin is gone now, so I'm standing here like <laughs> myself like a jackass. Uh, hi. What what do you think of the life? Uh, YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs>